We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Texas Rangers. It's Rangers baseball, and it comes your way next. Lance Lynn is on the mound for game two. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that's been struggling a little bit lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.40. So he's going to have to cut that down, limit the amount of base runners, limit the amount of walks if he wants to have some success in this one here today. Into the box Leading now, tonight, Mike Talkman. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1-1. First pitch, seven oh five. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind zero and two. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. This is a pitch I think we'll see a lot from him in this game. The cutter darting in on the hitters in the opposite batter's box. It can be a real effective pitch when it's located well, and that one was right there. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. They've had it go in the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Dero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four out of the first five, that sets up a really nice stretch of baseball. They'd love to win this one here today and keep that roll going. And he fouls this one off. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Ready on one and two. Two balls. Two the Mercury has dipped under 50, 49 degrees here at first pitch. One out, nobody on. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, and he makes the catch in the corner. Batting third, the right fielder, number 99, Aaron Judge. So coming to the plate, Aaron Judge. And he does so riding a nine-game hitting streak, so he's certainly a threat with the bat right now. First delivery to him on the way. Curveball just misses apparently. 1 0. Wanted to get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner. Two out, nobody on. Tried to get the arms extended, but he couldn't. 1 and 1. And the pitch. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Oh. 
the 2-1. Well. Gary Sanchez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. So here's the cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. Man at first after the two-out walk. He's set, now the pitch. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Good curveball there gets the swing and miss. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96, you have to be on the fastball or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One left for the Yankees. It's the Yankees nothing. Rangers coming to bat on Major League Baseball, the show. Jordan Montgomery gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Really like this guy. He reminds me a lot of Andy Pettit, left-hander from the University of South Carolina. Not an overpowering fastball, kind of like Andy Pettit. Low to mid-90s fastball, good curveball. His secondary pitches, he needs to improve on a little bit, but this guy has a bright future. Quality arm from the left side. So coming to the plate, Elvis Andrews. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, despite the loss last time out, they enter this one in good shape. Winners in seven of their last ten. Yeah, Matty, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three. Haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Tuckman is right there, one down. Batting second, the right field, Hunter. Go! Stepping up now, Hunter Cole, and he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. Here's the first pitch to him. Ball. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby. A ball and a strike. Bases are empty. One man out. Ah, changed oh, things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles that an hour is good, but no, not as impressive as it used to be. Really? Professional hitters can catch that up with that, good. so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect, Willie Calhoun. He'll let her play here with that average down in the low 200s. Two home runs and six RBIs. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing in the club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Really tied him up on that one. 
Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, man. If I'm pitching. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Rangers set down in order. Still no score. Standing in, Luke Voigt. And he's been one of the league's big stories in April, having come out of the gates extremely hot at the plate. What a terrific season this guy's having. Up near the leaders in batting average, without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Favorable call in there for a strike. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Voigt carries a hitting line just over the 280 plateau. 0 2 is a fastball that misses inside. 1 and 2 now. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Into center field, line drive base hit. Nice piece of hitting right there. He obviously recognized cutter away, stayed inside it, was able to drive it the other way. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball called for strike two. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Voigt gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks, and now he's looking like he can put up similar numbers in this one. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. No balls and a strike to count. No score here as we play inning number two. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts now as they've been unable to advance that leadoff single into scoring position. Yeah, clearly no problems working out of the stretch right now, Matt. He's taking control this inning after giving up that hit. Now we'll see if he can finish it off strong as well. And that sends D.J. LeMahieu into the box. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. In his career versus this pitcher, he's got one hit in 17 at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Here's the 0-1. And he misses with it, 1-1. One and one. LeMahieu, an imposing right-handed figure at 6 foot 4 inches tall. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. Some guys only get to free agency one time in their career. This guy has a chance to get there for a second time and in the prime of his career. Is he able to handle the pressure as he plays out this final season? And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. The Yanks leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score.
Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He'll start us out here in the home half of the second. Gallo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park like this. Have to get the ball up to do some damage. I'm not mad at that tape. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He drove in two of his club's three runs in last night's affair. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike taken up in the zone. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. One, two is an off speed pitch. No dice, it's two and two. Two and two. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Hate to be Captain Obvious here, but he looks great to begin this start. That That's already three Ks for him in the first five hitters. It'd be awesome to see him keep up this pace. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Ronald Guzman. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Montgomery has become known as a guy that's tough to take deep. So many starting pitchers find themselves snake bitten by the gopher ball, but he really limits that. Sliced hard on the ground. Reined in. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We'll move to the third with no score. So striding forward now, Miguel Andujar. And he's looking to turn the page. The bat's been ice cold over the last eight or so ball games. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh and one delivery. One and one. Well, that's off the plate. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that feel because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Now the two one. And it's fouled away. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. Here's the pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. 
Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Ready for another chance. Mike Tuckman, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball, inside. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Fouled away. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gallo will drift over to his right a few steps as he takes it for the second out. Now batter, third baseman, Gio Urshela. Digging in for his second at bat, Gio Urshela flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now the pitch. 0 and 1 the count. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on, they could start something serious. Bases are empty here with two men out. And low, it's a ball and a strike. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. In her third let go, it's a called strike. Takes this the other way to right. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. When you throw it away, he hits it the other way. He's having that ability right now just to be able to get the barrel to it, and he's having a real strong beginning of this season. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. One ball, no strikes to count. Third inning, no score to this point. In for a strike, it's one and one. Outside, two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Popped him up. Trevino has a play, and that ends the inning. One left for the Yankees. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Here's Todd Frazier now. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it.
Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just inside. Fouled off. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Now here's the pitch. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And this is hit hard to the right side, but foul. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early, and don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Here's Rogne Odor now. He went deep in the contest last night. comes the first pitch. Well, that's it. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ball game. And he fouls this one off. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. And he misses two and one. From the belt, kicks and deals. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Helpful. This would be an absolute terrible start to the inning. After drilling the first guy, you can't allow the second guy to reach base via the wall. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. There's ball four. Batting nine. The pitcher. Coming to the plate now, Jose Trevino. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He's set and the pitch. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. This is one of those classic bunt situations here. But it's not a given anymore like it used to be. And that's the case even more so in the American League. The 0-1 pitch. One ball, one strike. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. None out. Runners at first and second. Into the corner and slicing foul.
Here now the 2-2. And this one's in the dirt. The runners will hold tight, but it's a full count now. Three and two. And it's fouled away. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. And good. Here's Elvis Andrus now. Nope. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. It was a fly out for him to start the home first. Ball oh, two and oh now. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2 0 -oh count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Here it comes now to Andrus. Nope. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Well, nothing can make you question yourself on that mound more than three straight balls to a guy you know that you should go right after. Sometimes you just lose the strike zone and you don't know why. Here's the 3 0. -oh. And a changeup. Couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Digging in, Hunter Cole looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And he can't allow the same thing to happen in this situation. This is a big-time spot in this game. He's got to find a way to put the ball in play. And here's a ball hit in the air. Heading after it is Judge, and no one will track it down. Ready with the 0-1. Fouled away. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Another one sent foul. Here's another 0-2. And a good two-strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0-2. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that really? fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. Into the box, Willie Calhoun. As he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. And a golden opportunity here to give his guys the lead with three men aboard. He set the 0-1. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. The 0 2. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Boy, his pitch count has really spiked here in this inning. He's up to over 50 already. From the stretch, the 1 2. Fouled off. him up Torres is there he's got it and that'll get him out of the jam 
A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. New inning set to get underway. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Gary Sanchez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Boy, Dero, the game of baseball has changed. There's so much velocity in the game. That was a 96-mile-an-hour fastball that he smoked the other way. Yeah, you have to keep your front shoulder tough right there. You have to honor. When a guy's throwing that hard, 96 miles an hour, you have to honor that fastball and try and work it the other way to keep you on the off-speed. Swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one. One pitch on its way. Nope. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is good. Now Void with a high fly ball out to deep left field. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start oh, the inning. Yeah, they've been stymied so far on this one. But they've strung together a couple hits and are poised to finally break through. A base hit to the outfield, and we've got the makings of something special working here. Standing in now, Torres. The swing and hit a pop to the right side of the infield. Guzman is under it and he's got it for the first down. So we saw the fastball there as he got the pop out and that'll segue right into our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. Giancarlo Stanton now he's 0 for 1 thus far. It looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk now and the force play is now in order. That's what's called getting the treatment. Everyone knows he's a power threat with the bat so it's all about not letting him be the guy that beats you. First pitch of the at bat. D.J. LeMayhew is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball it's 1-0. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. And facing right-handed pitching so far this season, LeMahieu is hitting exactly 200. Not really what you'd call a point of pride for him. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Two one home. Swing and a line drive. Leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Off the bat, that had soft base hit written all over it. But a nice snag there by the infielder on that soft liner that could have been a potential base hit. So two are gone now in the Yankee half of the fourth. And striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar.
ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. In there, two and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. No runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees' DH. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The payoff pitch, and he fouls this one off. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Now a ball hit in the air, and this looks like it'll get him out of it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Yankees leave him loaded. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. And that was one of the hardest hit balls they've had all game, Matty. It's been a pretty feeble effort by his teammates on the offensive side. One ball, no strikes to count. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance at getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3-2 pitch. Gloved by LeMahieu. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting. For center fielder, Danny Santana. Stepping up to the plate, Danny Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First offering on its way. And the Rangers are in the hit column. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. It's not easy to put the time in, but bottom line is, one of the reasons why they do it is the ability to work the whole field. Clearly, he's been putting in that work, and it paid off right there. Into the box now, Ronald Guzman, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the stretch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Man, this guy's really starting to swing the stick again, d -roll. That extends his hitting streak to nine games. Yeah, he's leaking into three series right here now. Nine games, that's getting firm. He's seeing the ball well, and he's making the proper adjustments at the plate.
Here's the first pitch to him. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. <laughs> hey, you think the game plan is to pitch this guy inside? They plunked him in the first at bat, and they're clearly coming right back in again. The 1-0. Oh. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat, starting right now. Now the 2-0. Two, oh. two and one to count. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Runners are at first and second with one away. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Here's the three, two. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. That's a big no-no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. Coming to the plate now, Rupnit Odor. He drew a base on balls his first time up. He's set. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. And that misses 1-1. One and, one. and some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. One one home. Not likely to see a fourth fastball in this situation. I'm going to eliminate the fastball if I'm at the plate right here. The one two lifted the other way down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. Fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Fouled off. Finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. At the plate now, Jose Trevino. As he'll take a look at ball one. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 0. Two balls and no strikes. Ready with the 2 0. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And this one is over, and he works the count back to 2 and 2. 
Boy, I love the way he's competing out there on the mound right now. He's got a chance to rack back-to-back K's with two runners in scoring position. He's not giving in at all. The 2-2. Two -two. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Despite the fact that they've yet to push a run across, the game is still tied, and the pitch count for their opposition is really getting up there. They think that making him work as hard as he has is going to pay off later in the game and that they just need to stick to the process. All right, Heidi, thank you. Off. Now back to the top of the lineup, the stepping in, Mike Talkman. Mike. He'll start Talkman. off the fifth in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. Ball one to start the at-bat. The 1-0 home. Misses for the second ball. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. And he fouls this one off. Now the 2-1. Popped him up. Trevino over to his left. One down. Now batter, third baseman, Gio Urshela. Digging in and looking for more, Gio Urshela. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First delivery to him on the way. That finds the zone a called strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. One out, nobody on. Drilled right back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. So make it two hits for him now on the night as this one finds its way into center. And as that graphic shows us, he currently leads the Yankees in that category. Here's big Aaron Judge. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. In his last at-bat, he popped out in foul ground. Two and oh now. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. The 2 1. Now a drive by Judge. Deep left field. And they take the lead. It's gone. All rise, Aaron Judge. A two-run shot. Sixth home run on the season for him. And this is now a two-to-nothing lead for the Yankees. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. And then after that home run, it looks like they might be able to end this losing streak that they've been mired in. 
Yeah, and a win at this level feels really good, especially when it's been a while. They're on their way if they can play well the rest of the game. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Strike two on the curveball, 0 and 2. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. Still only one out in the inning. Ground ball left side. Defense set up perfectly. And that's the second out. Now batter. The first baseman. Luke Boyd. Ready now, Luke Voigt. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Odor has it. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. The Yankees get a couple on the two run home run. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 2 0 New York. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ben Heller will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Number 61, Ben Heller. So the Rangers batting order turns over and set to go. Elvis Andrews, he'll start things out in the home half of inning number five. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The 1-0. And it's fouled away. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. Ball three. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run oh, across yet, game. so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Digging in now, Hunter Cole. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. First pitch on its way. And a ball 1 and 0. Nobody out, runner on first. This pitch is popped up. Voigt moving to his left, and that's the first out of the inning. Now batting, the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. So digging in now, Willie Calhoun. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Runner at first here, one man out. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and 
that can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Here comes the 2-0 pitch. Popped high in the air. Urshela has a play. Two down. Now batting left fielder, Joey Gallo. So a runner at first with two away. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. From the stretch. Fouled away. Two out with the man at first. Behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball. And he misses there. One and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all on the previous pitch. So why not come right back with it again. Better job of laying off that one though. Full count now three and two. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit hard to short. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. One left for Texas. They're still down. It's two nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in, Torres. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. First pitch on its way. Ball one. Ball one, no strike. off his leg on the mound throw to first but he's safe and now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound and time now to see quite where that got him and it appeared from up here at least and his actions on the field confirm it it looked like it got him on his drive leg which could be problematic of course for him but from the way he's trying to walk it off I think he's going to try to continue now here comes the Rangers skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he'll motion for the bullpen that's going to be all for Lance Lynn. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here didn't pitch all that poorly yet he's gone nonetheless. Jesse Chavez takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Jesse Chavez. At the plate, Giancarlo Stanton. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He was given a free pass via the intentional walk last time. The 1-0 is a slider taken for a ball. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Here he comes on 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. Oh. 
Wow, this is the kind of count you'd like to get your superstar hitters in, right? 3-0. and You can bet he has the green light on this pitch. From the belt, the pitch. Hey. A runner at first with no outs here. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. From the stretch, there goes Torres off of first. Strike one to start the at-bat. One pitch on its way. Ball in. Strike two as it catches the outside corner. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. The one-two is looked at for ball number two. Two balls, two strikes. Two two. This is on the ground over to first. Andrus to first and Guzman to complete the double play. Now that oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Here's Miguel Andujar now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like, single, gapper, homer, just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated. Again. One and one the count now. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Good time to be a nine hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Well, that's Three and one now. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got to count in his favor. Three and one. High and deep down the left field line. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Yanks leave one, but they hold a 2 0 lead.
also striding in Danny Santana, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Here it comes. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. Didn't stay on top of the slider that time as it misses high. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Fouled off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. It might have been sitting on I'm an off speed pitch, lane. but instead he gets the, the fastball baseman. way late. Oh. Had no chance to put that no. ball in play. Oh. So now to the plate, Ronald Guzman. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. He's one for two in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Nope. Back in time. Bases are empty, one man out. A ball and two strikes. One and two. Line to the right side. Judge is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Up next to Boy, the sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things there. will happen. Well, no. that's not the case right there. Oh, that was a bullet that just stayed up and is caught in the outfield. Striding into the box, Todd Frazier. It was a walk in his last trip. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 1-0. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. The windup and the 1-0 pitch. That ball two. Two out, nobody on. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Judge is on his horse. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. So here's the left-handed bat of Rugnit Odor. Now Odor turns on one and sends it to deep right. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Rugnit Odor connects for a two-run home run. Fourth home run here in the early going. As the Rangers are back in business, they tie it at two. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Stepping in now, Jose Trevino. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. No hits to this point. And 
the 0-1. Outside for a ball, 1-1. One and one. I'm seeing all the signs of fatigue right now. This is when you really have to bear down mentally as a pitcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. And he popped him up back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Now another one two. To two balls and two strikes now. That fastball really got away from him there. That's kind of a red flag for me that he's starting to tire or wear down a little bit. The first thing that goes is location and then your mechanics. We'll see if this continues. Good eye to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. He's right there. Throw on to Voigt yeah. takes care of him and the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. So the lineup flips over and digging in Mike Talkman in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground. Yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Here comes the first pitch. Popped him up. And Andrus will take this one in with two hands for the first out. Every pitcher oh, loves to get quick outs, right? How about that? One pitch, one out, a pop-up to start the inning. Now at the plate, Gio Urshela. He's two for three thus far. First delivery to him on the way. No offer at that one. It's a cold strike. Great job of changing speeds there. It's 0 and 2. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at 1 and 2. One out, nobody on. Skied down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The one, two. Line to the right side. But that's a foul ball. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. To the plate now, Aaron Judge. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Line drive to left. That's in for a base hit, and he's 2 for 3.
Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there. Now but the outfielder does a really good job, Hero, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over-aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line towards center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Chad Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 57, Chad Green. Last half of the seventh here. Now at the plate, Elvis Andrews. It was a walk in his last trip. Pitch on the way. Green, a right-hander standing six foot three. He was selected in the 11th round back in the draft of 2013. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. 1-0 count, here it is. Weak grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. Ball and two strikes to the Rangers shortstop. The one two high and deep down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball. This pitch is popped up. Urshela is there for it. One away. The batter, the right field, Hunter. Goal. At the plate, Hunter Cole. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop-out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the heart of the plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. One ball, no strikes to count. Bases are empty, one man out. Out of play, off to the right. It's one and one. slider that doesn't quite catch the zone it's two and one now big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone three and one when you're playing close games like this base runners mean everything so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Tuckman is there now, and he has it. Two gone. The designated hitter, number five, Willie Calhoun. Striding forward now is the DH, Willie Calhoun. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yeah. 
Wow, I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Still no balls and two strikes. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's one and two. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Rangers set down in order. Score remains two to two. Luis Garcia has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 45, Luis Garcia. Ready to begin the eighth. Next for New York, Luke Voigt. He's two for three and looking for more here. Voigt. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. And he fouls this one off. Garcia, the former Angel, he became a member of this team after signing as a free agent earlier this season. Yeah, he didn't have an opportunity to really get acclimated to this ball club. Showing up during the season is not always easy, opening the doors to a big league clubhouse and trying to get to know your teammates. The best way to get to know them is to go out and produce. The 1-2. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Now batter. Shortstop. Labor. Toro. Digging in now for the Yankees. Torres. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1 0. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. One out, nobody on. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Hit to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Good pitch right there to run the two-seamer in on his hands and bunch him up. And an easy ground ball as the result. Settling in now, Giancarlo Stanton comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Zach 
Zach Britton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Ready once again, Joey Gallo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Joey Gallo. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1 0. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. 2 0 the count to the Rangers' left fielder. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. The pitch. Ball back then. Danny Santana will be next. Hey. Three and one. Stealing that strike on 3 0 was important, but you don't want to miss over the heart of the plate in this situation. I got to believe he's going to be way more aggressive right here. The 3 1. Hit hard, but right into the shift. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Now battle. The center fielder, Danny Santana. In now, Danny Santana. And it's fouled away. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Swing and a miss and he's in trouble now. 0 and 2. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, it's been a rough series for him at the plate so far. That's four I'll strikeouts the in the first two games. So this base pitching base. staff clearly Come has him figured out. Good Into the box, Ronald Guzman. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Winging strike, and now it's 0-2. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fouled away. Possible go-ahead runs on first. One away. Fouled off. Here comes another 0 2. And a half hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. That was a big strike out there, guys. The now best battle. pitchers have Third the ability to strike guys out when they really need to, and that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. First pitch on its way. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. Oh, and two. Here it is. 
And that's depth one and two. And he fouls this one off. From the stretch, the one two. In tight with the slider, two and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. He set the 2 2. Back up the middle. And that's through for another base hit. And he'll make it two for two in this one. Boy, I'm talking about making a pitcher work, D row. Eight pitch at bat finally leads off to a base hit. I got to be honest with you. After the seventh pitch, you start to get an auto swing mode. He could have thrown the rosin bag and he would have took a hack at it. So hats off to him, not only battling for eight pitches, but getting a result. At the plate, Rugnet Odor as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. Oh. 1 and 0, oh, here it is. Swung on and missed on a pitch at the thumbs, a ball and a strike. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike 2. One and two. Here it is. Two men are on with two men out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. And he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Rangers leave a pair. And this game is still tied at two and two. Nick Solak has come into the ball game now as he takes over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base, number 15. All set to start the ninth in this one. Stepping into the box, DJ LeMayhew. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get something up so you can drive the baseball. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The battle, the designated hitter, Miguel and Duhar. Stepping in, Miguel Andujar. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Help one and oh. The 1 0 home. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Now the 1 and 1 pitch he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. The 2 2 pitch is taken, but called strike three as he might have gotten a little extra off the plate that time. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. 
Standing in now, Mike Talkman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Smoke toward third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go 1 2 3. Score remains 2 to 2. Luis Sessa comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Luis Sessa. Now at the plate, Jose Trevino. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Jose Trevino. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Uh, couldn't quite hold back that time as the changeup fooled him for strike one. And he lays off for ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One one home. High in the air out to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter, number one. Good stop. Elvis. And good. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Whoa, that's In his career, Andres hits a little over the 270 mark. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Breaking ball drops right in the chute for a strike. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Two and two the count. Here it comes now to Andrus. Full count now. Three and two. Hunter Cole will be next. Now the three and two pitch. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Now, batting, right now in the box, Hunter Cole. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. behind 0 and 2 now well above the letters with the fastball that time he wasn't even close to swinging right there that was a stone cold take the 1 2 pitch Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. One, two, three, go the Rangers. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Two, two. Cody Allen takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Number 31, Cody Allen. We are into extra innings. Into the box, Gio Urshela. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. First pitch on its way. Yep, that ball went out. The 1-0 home. 
down the third baseline but a foul ball and it's two and one now fastball just missed above the zone Aaron Judge is on deck the three one and possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Digging in, Aaron Judge. Go ahead run at first, nobody out. Here's the first pitch. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right-hander's begun to warm up out there. The one and one pitch. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout oh, situations good. these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good, high, hard fastball. Into the box now, Gary Sanchez. No balls and a strike to count. One and one. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Down low, two balls and a strike. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. To the plate now, Luke Voigt. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Ready with the 0-1. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And he misses again. Ball three. Torres would be next. And 
it's fouled away. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. Stepping into the box, Torres. He was a ground-out victim last time up. Here's the first pitch. Favorable call there, taken for a strike. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Ready on 0-2. These are the situations right here that make me miss wearing a uniform. The big spot, the cat and mouse of what's he going to throw. I'm down 1-2, can I battle back? The pitcher's trying to put me away. This is what the game's all about. A ball and two strikes. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance to win it here in the bottom half. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10. The designated hitter. First delivery really? to him on the way. In there, strike one. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Nope. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Fouled away. The one two. Misses ball two. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Three and two to the Rangers designated hitter. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Fouled off. And another foul ball. Pops this one up. Stanton coming on, but he won't get to it, and this should put him in in scoring position to start the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely the second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Now a spin and a throw back to second, and the runner back. Here's Joey Gallo now, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. The 0-1. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Now the 0-2 pitch. One ball, two strikes again.
And that's a count, two and two. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2. And he's seen a lot of pitches too. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. Full count still. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Really good late bite on now that bad. slider right there. Look, the best ones that. have that late that action is. that just darts at the last yeah. minute. Have They're on. so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. In now, Danny Santana. As he'll lay oh. off a slider too low, ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1-0. Two balls, no shot. Two tough sliders right there, but he was able to lay off him. Might have bought himself a fastball in this situation. Now the 2-0. That's ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. The 3-0. Swung on and missed three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Now the three and two pitch. Line toward the alley in left center. A dive, but it's off his glove. He'll get there at third, and now the winning runs only 90 feet away with just one out. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Adam Adovino is into the ball game now, as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. So now to the plate, Ronald Guzman. Pitch out, nothing doing. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. Here's a look over to first, and the runner will get back standing. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. All right, two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Count even at two and two. Possible winning run just 90 feet away here, one away. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Going back is the right fielder. Ball game! So 
So a three run shot to right center field. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. get into extra innings you're always looking for that one guy to step up and be that hero and this guy was the hero tonight what does he do steps up with a walk-off home run to end this thing in extras 